here's some ice cleats I'm gonna be showing today how to put them on first I have my boots just gotta quickly tie up my boots on the ice cleats themselves it says front and it says back I'm going to start off by putting this on the front, like this, and you gotta stretch all the way to the back, like this. It's basically a big rubber band. Okay, and it is on. Now I can make some small adjustments by hand. Just to make sure it's perfectly even. Okay. And this I use on my heavy work boots. Works great. I don't put these on sneakers. I have put them on sneakers in the past and this really squeezes your foot. If you put this on sneakers, it's putting a lot of stress on your toes. It's gonna make your toes hurt a lot because all this force. The cat's here because he's interested in the noise the chain makes. Go ahead, I'm gonna put the other one on. Just like the first one, the part that says front goes in the front. And this is kind of difficult to stretch them. It's a good workout because you got to use all your strength to do that. There goes the cat. I gotta make them even again. Just gotta go around, check them all, make it even. And oh, when I'm out in the woods wearing these around, I always carry around a pair of pliers because sometimes these come undone and you'll have it hanging. You'll be able to feel it as you walk. One of them will be moving around different, differently. So you just gotta simply put it back in with pliers. It's very easy to do so. Now I'm gonna go outside and do a little bit of walking around in these. You see they're all even. The spikes. This is the part that sometimes comes undone. Especially if you're walking on uneven surfaces. These are made for ice, snow, you can walk on slippery things. This is great for when I'm walking in the woods on steep hills. It really helps me get down the hills, it helps me run quickly on slippery surfaces, frozen ponds. It's good for winter hiking. Now I'm going to go outside and just show this out, or show them on some ice. You can get all different kinds. These ones are half inch spikes. You can get them all the way up to two inch spikes. Well these I got at the store for 20 bucks. They have different variations. They had a cheaper version. Instead of the actual spikes, it had these just metal bumps. They also have boots that have spikes that you screw in and out. Those you can replace with any kind of size you want. 
but these have been working great. This is my third year using these kind. I've used them on frozen ponds, a lot of different things. And you're not supposed to use them on pavement. I don't use them on pavement. Occasionally when I'm in the woods, they'll get scraped on rocks, but they really haven't worn down at all. In the last snowstorm, I w went walking down by the river in the backyard, and it they were great on the ice. But I did scuff them a little bit on rocks, but that didn't really matter. It just felt weird. Okay, I'm going outside now. You see what I did? I laid down some towels to walk on so I don't scratch up the floor with these spikes. I'm walking gently on the asphalt. Here I am on the ice. They really do good gripping. Okay, I'm going to try walking uphill now.